Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Elex. It's a action RPG, sort of. There might be some shooting involved. Uh, made by the people that made Gothic. Uh, this is their kind of new, new series that they're going to to start. I actually don't know if they're going to do for like go for an Elex too. I guess really depends on how this game goes. Uh, but it looks interesting enough, and I love trying double A games. You know, not quite triple A, uh, not quite, not quite triple A, but you know, not not quite there. So I'm gonna turn down the environment volume a little bit, the effects volume a lot, and the music by a bit. This way, we will be able to hear the uh, the actual voice acting gameplay. Subtitles. There we go. I just gotta turn these on because sometimes, you know, sometimes it matters. Anyway, I did load this in earlier, but uh, it was mostly just to make sure the game would run. Uh, so I guess without further ado, seeing as there's not much to talk about. Sorry, I'm just, I'm always a little bit confused by this, uh, confused, distracted by this title screen, because I feel like we're getting into a time travel game, but I don't think that's the case. But yeah, anyway, I, I'm wasting time talking. New game. Uh, cool. Magalan. Home to a civilization of millions. Until the comet hit. Earthquakes shattered its cities. Firestorms swept the planet. And as Magalan fell into darkness, the survivors faced a world that was unrecognizable. Fighting amongst the ruins of the old world, new factions arose. The Berserkers, the clerics, the outlaws, each with their own vision of the future. But it wasn't only the struggle for scarce old world resources that drove them, for the comet had bought something new. Elix, an element unknown to Magalan. It could fuel technology, change the evolution of life, open new abilities to those with the will to control it. For the clerics, it drove new technological innovation. For the outlaws, drugs to free their minds. To berserkers, it gave the power of magic. Seduced by Elix's power, some began to consume it. Addicted, overwhelmed, most degenerated into vicious, mindless mutants. But there were some who could control their addiction. To them, at the cost of their emotions, Elix offered strength, focus, and stamina. These people called themselves the Albs. Seemingly unstoppable, the Albs have waged war on all who will stand between them and their need to obtain Elix. Advancing from the frozen wastes of Zaykor and their fortress ice palace, the Albs threatened the future of all the factions on Magalan. Now, as Alb forces prepare their final assault, Jax, renowned Alb commander, is sent on a solo mission. One Alb, selected to change the fate of Magalan. the design for the armor and the helmet and whatnot. The only thing I don't like about it is, why can you see a skin? If you're gonna have sci-fi armor, you don't show skin. Hold up with one, man. Look at Master Chief. I think you maybe see his head at, like, one point in one of the games. Barely. Could actually be wrong, I haven't played any more recent Halo games. Was the ship black?
Why would you ditch your helmet? You just got shot down. Have some situational Jax, awareness, man. You failed your mission. You know our directive. There can be only one consequence for failure. My hands have never been dirty before. This is unacceptable. I should be and dead. I'd and uncomfortable. Before they come back to finish the job. And I better find a weapon. How do I jump? Stealth, maybe? I, oh, okay. I'm just going to be pressing buttons here. I was kind of messing around with what control scheme I want for this game. And control doesn't quite... <laughs> Control controller feels a little odd. But oh, okay. That is oh Okay, so um Oh, okay, so it's X to jump. This is a very odd dodge roll where like the character goes rolling and then the camera catches up later. I I don't know. I am Oh, hi. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. I've got Poison Leaf. All right. Uh, <laughs> I want to play a game at some point where you pick the po Poison Leaf and your character actually, you know, gets poisoned. What? I... Okay. The camera's just feeling a little slow today. You jump, you dodge, roll, you climb a Must have been here ledge. For days. The Elix is gone for my sister. I feel weak. Think. Think, Jax. My weapons, my armor. Did Callus take them? No. If okay, come see. I was still alive. He would have finished the job. It was someone else. Okay, combine quick attacks and heavy attacks to combo. The longer the combo, the more damage you deal. Always keep an eye on your stamina. Callus returns. I. Old world ruins. Maybe I could find something useful in there. You know, this might not be the best soap soapbox to work with. You three, one of my crony units. It looks like it took a lot of damage in the crash. That's unsalvageable. I'm wondering where crony U4 is. If it's still active, then I might find it here in a den. Finding that drone would be helpful. Wait, he's actually speaking out loud, by the way. Wait, is this a porta potty? <laughs> is this a future porta potty? It's a future porta potty. Oh yeah, wet and then soap. Wait, I can maybe climb the porta potty. This is important to me. Nope, never mind. Okay, can't get. <laughs> I um, this might not be the right heel to die on here, but for once. Can I play a double A action RPG where we don't play as deep voiced Mick Brudington? Like, can I just can I just play a character that like is just like, ah shit, I got shot. Well, vengeance time and just walks off merrily to shoot people. Like, maybe some self-awareness, maybe oh, some self-awareness, some uh Okay, I can get over here. Yeah, we've got that building, but I'm going to explore. Some self-awareness, or just some, you know, kind of relaxed humor. That's why uh, Commander Shepard was such a, such a likable character, is because he 
kind of felt like a person. Sort of. I mean, he was kind of a little weird, and some of the, uh, some of the evil options ended up being a bit cartoonish. But he... Like, he was... Okay. How do I block? That's how I block. Okay. I'm not sure what that, that meter is. I don't I don't really know what's going on. There's something about combos, but heck if I know, I'm just wandering around grabbing stuff. Oh, there's our there's our space drugs. Let's grab arrows. Yeah, uh the other night I decided to try Shadow of Mordor. Oh, we get an adventures amulet, I guess. Uh, I tried Shadow of Mordor as a, like, oh, hey, they sent me a free copy. I might as well take a look at it and see if it's worth doing a series on it. Uh, and what ended up happening, apart from performance issues, was I was just uninterested. Like, this Technomancer, uh, Bound by Flame. There's more. There's so many more. I, maybe Marcus Phoenix is, whoa. That fall animation is effectively T-Pose. <laughs> really. Um, and I, I guess I'm just finding myself uh, not... Yeah, sure, why not? I find myself mildly repulsed by, by games that have this because it's just like... I, I, don't, I don't care about this guy. Just like baseline, I'm not given a reason to like him. And I'm not, I, I don't necessarily need to, but Deep Voice McBroodington, man, it just, it's like the easiest writing you can do, and they still kind of just make it boring. Take a look at Cloud. Well, actually, no. Correction, Cloud was kind of boring. I don't know. It was kind of boring, but at least he had some, like... Can I? I got two. Wait, did I get more experience from that rat than some of the critters? That's uh, technology from the old world. That's all that's here. I'd better move on. I can sit down. I can sit down. Okay. I don't know why I can sit down, but I can. I I can sit down. Sure. Why not? Well. Oh. I mean, I appreciate the combat system they're trying to go for here. Completed. Finish the next mass rat. Can we have, like, a... Can we have a volume rat? A voluminous rat at some point? Actually, I probably shouldn't ask for that. That's probably terrifying. Okay, the map piece is kind of neat. Yeah, I don't know how uh, open world this game is going to be. I I've actually never played a gothic game before. Uh, so I largely have no idea what I'm getting into. Uh, I just know that it exists as a series, and I've looked at it in the past, and the uh, the reviews have always been just iffy enough that I was like, meh. Uh, but THQ Nordic was uh, nice enough to send this along, so I am nice enough to do a video on it and make fun of it, maybe a little bit. Wait, oh, I can loot the dead rat for bone. I'm just imagining this guy's walking through this this facility, you know, he's killed the rats, he looks, he looks down at the rat and he's like, sweet bones, and he just like, jams his hand into its like, mouth and just like, pulls out its spine. It's like, yes, I will use this for arbitrary crafting reasons that I probably, like, these, these RPG characters MacGyver the weirdest shit out of the weirdest shit. I just want somebody to recognize that like, what they're doing is nonsense. Maybe a side character that's just like, dude, what are you doing? Oh well. Also... Chapter 1. The Hunt Begins. I gotta say, though, I appreciate the fact that I'm the nature... The territory. What was Calix doing here so far from Zaycor? If I want answers, I need to find him. And, for that, 
I'll need weapons and equipment. Mission, use the elevator. Lies. Mission, grab random shit. Mission, relax. Have a nice afternoon. Realize that... Deep Voice McBrudington has no chill button. Literally, I checked the controls beforehand. He doesn't even smoke, but he does climb. Now here's the question. Can I... Can I save game? Okay, we're gonna save game. Okay. Now we're going to fling Deep, deep Voice McBrudington to his death. If we can. Come on, Deep Voice McBrudington, I believe in you. Nope. He is actually, uh, resilient to, uh... To falling to his death. I... Well... It's fair. Oh, yeah. Here's another rat we can jam our fists down for loot and other things. <laughs> A little jump. Where's the elevator? I've totally missed the elevator. Because I'm, I'm too busy mercilessly, mercilessly making fun of Deep Voice McBrudington. I don't even know what his name's supposed to be. He said his name. Jax, maybe? But... I'm gonna be honest. It's deep. It's it's deep voice, McBrudington. Yeah, we have a. Oh, you know what? It's here. God damn it! I'm dumb. I oh okay. <laughs> I apparently cannot be next to the button to press it. I uh, I'm not in a good state of mind for this right now. I'm very feisty. And so I'm going to be messing up and then making fun of it, and then it's my own fault. Okay, seriously, was he wearing this? Sequence initiated. Remain calm and proceed to the indicated exits immediately. No, no, no calm. From service personnel. There is no calm. There is no calm. There is only brooding. Literally no other emotions. Calm doesn't happen. Must be brooding and brooding only. The guy that took my armor must have dropped it. Now, all I need to do is find a way out, cross kilometers of enemy territory, and find out why my brother tried to kill me. What could go wrong? I'm gonna be honest also, this guy's voice is so... Okay. This guy's voice is so de deep, I feel like he should be built like Doom Guy. Like, straight up. He is actually too... He's not bulky enough to be, uh, to be, like, voiced this deeply. Maybe it's just me. Wow. That was a... What was that noise? It, it was like a... I'm making fun of it a little bit, but, like, what? Now, do we have to worry about inventory space at all? Doesn't look like it. That ca camera, ca camera, ca camera, boy, last boss of this game, camera, or pills. Holy crap! Somebody had a bender, <laughs> toilet paper. <laughs> I, I like to imagine. Ugh. Ugh. Why do video game toilets always have to be awful? I guess it's like it's probably contractual at this point. It's just like video game toilet, make it poopy. Make it the poopiest, grossest damn thing you could ever be with. Itam, the land of the Berserkers. If they recognize me, they could finish Kallax's job for him. They could. Or, they could die by my hand. Like, I, I want... I like Doom... I like Doom Guy a lot. I want more games to be Doom Guy. More more RPG characters to be Doom Guy. I just want to play an RPG character uh, RPG where I am just Doom Guy. <laughs> Come on, get up. If you're gonna make a habit of attacking people without warning, you should get better at it. 
I heard you before you even left the ruins. Someone tried to kill me. They stole my armor and my equipment. Then I find you here waiting to finish the job. First you attack me, then you accuse me of being a thief and a murderer? If I wanted you dead, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Trust me, you need to apologize. What's wrong with your face? Prove you're not a thief and I might trust you. Wait, no, I bet he voice acts this out, doesn't he? Prove you're not the thief yep. and I might trust you. Only facts matter, not words. <laughs> Trusting people quickly out here is as good a way to get killed as walking around without a decent weapon. Which means you just got very, very lucky. I can help you find a safe place and new equipment. If you stop trying to attack me. Why would you help me? That's my job. I look for people out here and help them reach Goliath. You'll be safe there. Safe? You could be some kind of slaver. What is it you really want? I want this war to be over. Until then, Goliath needs more people to survive. And people need a safe place to go. Well, a safer place than being out here on your own. But you're welcome to stay and risk being picked up by an Alb raiding party. Between them and the Rot Wars, you won't live long. Say, you didn't see anyone else up there in the ruins, did you? You're the first person I found this trip, and it would save me a trip up there to check. You can save yourself the effort. There's no one up there. Well, then you got really lucky. An Alb Raider crashed a few days ago, and their scouts came through looking for it. Trust me. You don't want to run into a party of Alps. But, hey, enough talk. You need to decide what you're going to do. I'm going back to Goliath, and you can come with me if you like. Safety, security, and you can find work to earn enough to buy equipment. If you want a chance to survive, it's the best offer you'll get. That's why I joined the Berserkers. Out here, drifting, and hoping to stay alive. I knew it was only a matter of time before my luck ran out. I know joining a faction doesn't appeal to everyone, but it gave me purpose. And what have you got to lose right now? Nothing from what I can see. What you say is logical. Logical, right. Does that mean you're coming? Every choice you make adds up in this world. The way you speak to people will determine your course in life. Just take a look at yourself. No armor, no weapons, no companions. You've not exactly succeeded in life, have you? Well, all that changes today. Whatever you've done before, your life can start again. A new beginning. When the next Alb raiding party comes down from the north looking for Elix, the people of Goliath will defend you. You won't see the inside of a converter with us to protect you. Instead, you'll get a chance to prove yourself, to join us. Why do you want to help me? Like I said, Goliath needs people. Warriors, cultivators, hunters, storekeepers. Whatever your skills, we can find a place for you. You'll train me and give me equipment? If you stay, you'll have to earn your place. But be you cleric, outlaw, or alb, that's true everywhere. Sure, you'll get given orders and you'll have to follow the law, but it's not like you have things easy out here. Look, we can keep talking, but at some point, you gotta decide. So, what's it gonna be? Are you gonna stay here, or come with me? Your actions and words seem to match. I will trust you, for now. Huh, <laughs> yes, well, I'll take that as a compliment. You won't regret it. Combat, magic, if those interest you, then the Berserkers offer training to people who join their ranks. We'll make a warrior of you. We should get going. This is Rotboard territory. You won't last long if a pack of them turn up here. Follow me to Goliath, and you can earn the Alexa to buy armor and supplies. Trust me, you'll need them. Okay, so first and foremost, holy crap, the voice the voice acting is quiet in compared in comparison to that in comparison to that that music I, I don't know just like the, the horn over the guys 
Oh well, not the end of the world. Anyway, that guy looks like somebody that smelled something awful and found it hilarious, and then his face got stuck that way. There's just something kind of odd about the facial modeling. Okay, actions like sprinting, attacking, or evading cost stamina. Oh, I can evade in combat. Oh right, we figured that out. The funny way, holy shit. Okay, let's take a look around. Oh, hi, so we have different stats. We have different learning points for everything jetpack attack. Huh. Okay. Those are those are just abilities. We have combat, survival, crafting, personality, berserker, outlaw, cleric. I Okay, this is equipment. So we do have a cultivator bow. Uh gonna equip that. I'm a little bit iffy on uh using range stuff. Just because I have, like, nothing. Adventurous amulet. Extra lock picking, extra armor. Huh. Okay, and then just a bunch of random junk do. A half-detective tin can. Oh, right, right. How do we pull up the map? Oh. Oh, here, here's the map. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so that's the town. So this is this is a very wow. What the? Huh. This place is a big map, actually. I kind of like this map. It's a bit cartoony, but I'm okay with that. So I'm just gonna wander off. I think he said. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't. No, let's head to town. I got a pipe. I'm gonna wander off. I'm probably going to get killed for this decision. There's like a homeless man there. I should maybe consider playing PC controls. Who is this man? Is this sneaking noises? Squelch, squelch, reaver. Okay, so this guy, oh, he was blocking. I don't think I can hurt him. Hello! <laughs> Just killed me already, I want to see what happens. <laughs> Evade! <laughs> Death. Well, I, they, they were not wrong. <laughs> End. Uh, let's load last save. I'll get you. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> that was weird. Interestingly enough, he hadn't turned around till earlier. Wait. Okay, he's chasing me. What if we head back to Duras? Come on, keep following me. Keep following me. What if... Is Duras still here? I'll take care of them. Okay. I will help... ...with my pipe. This does nothing to this man. Not even a heavy attack. Alright. Well, that's fine. I'm just gonna watch... What are you doing? Alright, now I don't earn any e EXP for that. But I do loot him. We get an energy drink and, like, 75 bucks. I will come with you to Goylet. You to go yet. Lead the way. And follow me. And if we lose each other for any reason... You'll find Goliath to the east, at the foot of the mountain. Just look for the light from our mana shrine. You can see that from a good distance away. Oh, and the name's Duras. Pleased to meet you. Just lead the way. Very well. And keep up. Keep your eyes open. Seriously, that man... ...grounds of some of the local wildlife. And neither of us want to end up as rot food. Holy shit, the music for this game is loud. 
I've got it down to 40% and that's still too much. I guess we'll go down to about 20%. Uh, I'll take the sound effects down a little bit too. I am actually kind of surprised. All right, let's save again. Uh, shame I didn't get the EXP for fighting that guy, but whatever. I mean, he'll respawn. It's not like I'm gonna lose the game just because I had an NPC kill off one random dude for me. But yeah, I, I have to say this uh, just from a purely uh, visual standpoint. He, Duris... Okay. Oh. Watch your step. I've never come through this area once without getting attacked. Gotcha. <laughs> we can just sound like a broken record. <laughs> I want to find the thief who took my armor. I want to find the thief who took my armor. Well, for anything stolen near here recently, I would start with Ray. He's an outlaw I found out here a few days ago. Very jumpy. Definitely looking for something. Where do I find him? Huh. I don't know. He disappeared off to the northeast. I'm guessing he went back to Tavar. But, hey, I wouldn't rush after him. He's probably sold your armor by now. Okay. Uh, I guess it's kind of important that we ask him that. If it's so dangerous, why do you come out here? Magalan almost died when the comet hit. A living, breathing planet turned to ash and dust. But the Berserkers are using their magic to bring our world back to life. Just look around you. Edan is the greenest place on Magalan. They need more people. And they offer anyone who comes the same chance to start over. We should move on. One downside of all this plant life is that you can't see the rot boards coming. Let's keep going. All right. And follow me. Okay, like I was saying, the character's faces look kind of awful. Or at least Duris's face. I'll, I'll hold out. We'll, we'll see what everybody else's face looks like. But the armor modeling looks real nice. I. What, what are the ruins over there? Remnants of the old world. A reminder that the past can be left behind. Can we find anything useful there? Maybe. Maybe. A group of clerics came through this area a few days ago. A scouting party reconnoitering Goliath. Well, that was their plan. Instead, they ran into a group of rot boars. Got chased into those ruins and haven't come out. Eaten by rot boars? That is no death for a warrior. Concern for an enemy? Well, you're right. No one deserves that death. I wish more people would look for common ground instead of shouting our differences. Why haven't you joined a faction? <laughs> this writing is... Stop questioning me about my business or I'll get angry. I have no interest in factions. I cannot decide whether to join a faction out here. Let's go on. Well, we have a choice to make. You're short of equipment. We could see if the clerics have left any in the ruins. You want us to go into the ruins? That's up to you. But there's a risk to that. So maybe we should just head straight for Goliath. I better warn you that the creatures in there won't take prisoners. It would definitely be safer to bypass them for now. So what do you think? Shall we risk entering the ruins? Let's go into the ruins. A brave choice. Opportunities are there to be seized. Okay. You've leveled up. Open your adjutor with uh, that. Distribute attribute points. Find a teacher and spend learning points to learn new skills. Somewhere. Okay, bye. Uh, dexterity increases range damage. Unlocks new abilities and items. Toughness is... Life energy, items and abilities. Strength is melee. Intelligence, The for some reason, the text is spaced really strangely there. Uh, increases mana, psi, or whatever. And cunning is social skills. I got 10 attribute points to spend. Oh, uh, for outlaws, increases chem capacity. So let's... Let's do... Th I'm gonna focus on melee, 
probably. I don't know about range. Maybe we get to to respec later. Actually, screw it. I'm not going to apply on? anything for a moment. Let's switch to the bow. Because the one thing is we could actually treat this game like a shooter. And my logic is... Okay, every attack adds to your combo bar. With enough combo power, you can perform a special attack. The better your time, the time you time your attacks, the more combo power you get. <laughs> That's the special attack, butt smacks. All right, sure, why not? Not gonna, not gonna help me on Let's that, go. Durus. No, guess not. All right. I gotta like, I gotta say, I like this kind of setting. I, I wish it was more futury, honestly. What is this? Oh, you've activated the teleporter. You can now return any time to its place to view the map. Looks like someone used this as a camp before. Now. Maybe I can use it. This place will come in handy. Okay, we ran out of stamina. I'll have to figure out uh, how to time attacks here. Is it just me, or did he get, like, a lot weaker over the course of this? Well, there goes my special attack, but that's fine. The animation on that special attack is magic. 